Well, it's about that time. The moment you've all been waiting for since the offseason for 2021 came around. My offseason MLB every free agent prediction is finally here. I've been working on it for what feels like the last, like, I don't know, two weeks and it is finally ready to be a video. So that's exactly what you're going to see today. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything going over every single free agent that I think is going to get signed this offseason or has a chance to get signed, where they're going to be going, my predictions, and I'm going to give you some reasons why. Now, the reason this video took so long is because it takes a long time for me to make. I create the background. I create the cards. I do my predictions, the research. So if you could drop a like on the video, I know I ask it for every single video, but this one specifically, I care about more because I didn't put so much time and effort into it. So a like really does help me out. You like this kind of content. I got a lot more of this kind of stuff coming to you this off season. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Get in the comments down below. Let me know where you think the big three are going. Springer, Riamuto, Bauer. I want to see your predictions and make sure you drop me a follow on Twitter, Instagram, and my second channel and other social medias down in the description below. So without further ado, I told you we're going to happen to this quickly. Let's get going into my 2021 free agent predictions. Getting it started with Aaron Loop going Going back to the Tampa Bay Rays. Adam Eaton leaving the Nationals, going out west to the Oakland A's. Adam Wainwright, you can't see him anywhere else but St. Louis. A Danny Echeverria, Kansas City Royals. AJ Ramos, actually played a little last year. He's gonna go to the Texas Rangers. Alex Avila going back to Detroit to play for his dad again with the Tigers. Alex Colomay re-signs with the White Sox. Alex Wood staying in LA, this time with the Angels. Andrelton Simmons going back to the NL East with the Philadelphia Phillies. Andrew Chafin, New York Yankees. Andrew Romine going to the Pittsburgh Pirates. Annabelle Sanchez joining Adam Eaton out west with the Oakland A's. Anthony Bass is staying put north of the border with the Blue Jays. Anthony Desclafani, Tony Disco coming to the New York Mets as Drubal Cabrera, Milwaukee Brewers. Austin Romine, brother of Andrew, Baltimore Orioles. Billy Hamilton staying in the Windy City with the Chicago Cubs. Blake Trinan, good season last year, gonna go to the Phillies and be their closer. Brad Boxberger staying in Miami. Brad Hand, one of the best free agent relievers available, is staying in the AL Central but with the Chicago White Sox. What a bullpen they will have. Brad Miller, really great season in 2020, staying with the St. Louis Cardinals. Brad Peacock going to Detroit to join up again with A.J. Hinch. Brandon Kinsler, I don't know what it is, but he just feels like a Red Sox player to me. Speaking of Red Sox player, former Red Sox Brandon Workman going to the Colorado Rockies. Doesn't give up a lot of homers. It's a good place for him. Brett Anderson staying put in Milwaukee. Brett Gardner following Joe Girardi. He's going to the Philadelphia Phillies. Brock Holt, also a national, joining the A's. Brian Holiday staying with the Miami Marlins. Cameron Mabin stays in the Windy City, but with the Chicago White Sox. Carlos Santana re-signs with the Cleveland Indians. I mean, they need some sort of offense if they trade Lindor. Cesar Hernandez, former Indian, St. Louis Cardinals. Charlie Morton, he's either staying with the Rays or going to the Marlins or retiring, so I think he goes to the Rays. Chase Anderson, bad year. Cincinnati Reds might be able to fix him. Chris Archer is an interesting free agent. I end up going with the Boston Red Sox, a little Heim Bloom Rays connection. Chris Owings back with the Colorado Rockies. CJ Crone, my guy, Milwaukee Brewers first baseman. Cole Hamels, I'll do it every single year. He's going back to the Phillies. That's the only place I can see him finishing his career. Colin McHugh going again back with AJ Hinch to the Detroit. Detroit Tigers. Think you're gonna see a lot of former Astros go back there. Hint, hint. Corey Kluber, former Cy Young, teams up again with his former pitching coach, Mickey Calloway, with the Los Angeles Angels. Daniel Descalzo, Seattle Mariners. Daniel Murphy, ooh, Baltimore Orioles. He might be able to hit there. Darren O'Day, Tampa Bay Rays. I mean, imagine that arm in that bullpen. David Phelps, out west, San Francisco Giants. David Robertson, Kansas City Royals. D. Strange Gordon, maybe could be the new second baseman for the Indians. Derek Dietrich, Chicago White Sox. Bat flips, Dietrich, Tim Anderson. I love the idea. Derek Holland going back to where it all started, Texas Rangers. D.D. Gregorius joining Mike Trout, Anthony Rendon, Shohei Otani, and others in L.A. with the Angels. D.J. LeMahieu, I don't see him leaving the Yankees, honestly. That just, they need to get him back. Drew Butera, Kansas City Royals. Drew Smiley, shockingly good year in 2020. I think he's on the Braves' radar. Edinson Volquez, didn't even know he was still in the league. Minnesota Twins. Eduardo Nunez, Arizona Diamondbacks. Edwin Encarnacion is going back to where his prime was, the Toronto Blue Jays north of the border. Ira Adrianza, staying with the Minnesota Twins. Kike Hernandez, LA Dodgers. He's not leaving, but maybe the Marlins are a sneaky team. Erasmo Ramirez was actually good for the Mets. I hope we keep him. I want to keep him. He's good depth. Eric Sogard, Arizona Diamondbacks. Eric Thames, Colorado Rockies. Get him in that altitude. Ooh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Freddie Galvis sticking with the Cincinnati Reds. But will he be the starter? That's the question. We shall see. I don't know why, but Garrett Richards feels like the Texas Rangers kind of player. Now here's the first of the big free agents. George Springer to the Boston Red Sox. I think the Red Sox are going to spend money, go get their center fielder. They're losing JBJ. Springer feels like a perfect Red Sox. Sock. He will dominate out in Boston. He'll roam center field for a few years. And then you stick him in right when he gets a little bit older. Verdugo in center, whatever you want. George Springer to the Red Sox just feels right. Gio Gonzalez grew up as a Mets fan. I think Steve Cohen and the organization appreciates that they bring in Gio for their fifth starter. Greg Holland, Atlanta Braves. Nice little pickup. Hector Rondon to the Angels to get back with Joe Madden. Howie Kendrick staying put in Washington, D.C. Ian Kennedy is also staying put with the Royals. Ivan Nova. I mean, Pittsburgh Pirates, who really cares? Jay Happ. I don't know why I think this, but Marlins. 
Why? I don't know. Jackie Bradley Jr. is then going to switch places with George Springer and go to the Astros and be their center fielder. That left-handed bat and that glove in center field is actually a really good pickup for them. Jake Arrieta, the Bay Area, San Francisco Giants. A ballpark that's a little more pitcher-friendly to the home run. Jake Lamb, Boston Red Sox. I don't know why, but again, another one of those guys that just feels right. Maybe stick him at first base. Jake Marisnik, Tampa Bay Rays. They have all the other good defensive center fielders. Why not get Jake Marisnik? Jake McGee, Washington Nationals. Strong left-handed arm. Jake Odorizzi, Chicago Cubs. I think this would be a really nice pickup for the Cubs. Jake James McCann might give away my other prediction, but he's going to the Philadelphia Phillies, which by the way, would be a great pickup. James Paxton, Big Maple is going back home. Send him to Toronto. Put him on the Blue Jays. You got to do it, Toronto. The guy's named Big Maple. Sign him. Jared Hughes stays put with the Mets. Gerard Dyson going back to the Royals. Jason Castro stays in sunny San Diego. Jason Kipnis flips sides of the town, goes to the Chicago White Sox. Jay Bruce. Texas boy, going to the Rangers. Jed Jerko's gonna stay put in Milwaukee. Jeff Mathis, gonna go to the St. Louis Cardinals. Jeremy Jeffress, staying with the Chicago Cubs. Jesse Chavez, Los Angeles Angels. Jimmy Nelson, going back to where it started for him, the Milwaukee Brewers. Joaquin Soria, Oakland A's. I know, I put him in A tier. A's are keeping him. Jock Peterson, another big free agent. I think he goes to Atlanta, and they do a little bit of a platoon situation maybe out in the outfield. Jock would be a nice left-handed bat for them to add. Joe Panic, Cleveland Indians. He wants to get that starting job. John Jay, San Diego Padres. Friends with May Machado, they'll team up. John Lester is coming back to the Boston Red Sox. Maybe a one-year deal for cheap, but the Red Sox, they need starting pitching in John Lester. That's where he's really meant to be in Boston. Jonathan Scope, also competing for that second base spot, Cleveland Indians. Jonathan VR going back to the Baltimore Orioles. Jordan Zimmerman, oof, Pittsburgh Pirates, because I don't really know if anybody else is going to want him. Jose Alvarez, really underrated left-handed reliever, San Diego Padres. Jose Quintana, Houston Astros, and they might just be able to fix him. Josh Fegley, Colorado Rockies. Josh Reddick and his fedora going back to Houston. JT Raumuto, one of the best free agents available on the market. I think the Mets get it done. They make a big splash and they grab JT Ramuto to get themselves a good catcher for the first time in a very long time since the days of Mike Piazza. And if we're stretching it, maybe Paul LaDuca was the next best. But JT Ramuto comes to New York and Steve Cohen spends that money. Juan Nicasio, Seattle Mariners. Julio Tehran, Pittsburgh Pirates. Jerickson Profar stays in San Diego. Justin Turner stays in LA with the Dodgers. Maybe like a one-year deal. Justin Wilson, I really hope the Mets keep him. He's a good left-handed arm. Ken Giles, he's hurt. Don't really know if he's going to pitch in 2021, but Cincinnati Reds take a flyer. Keone Kayla, Boston Red Sox. Kevin Pillar stays in Colorado. Angels get their closer in Kirby Yates, even after a disappointing season. Colton Wong, surprisingly not re-signed by the Cardinals. Boston Red Sox get their new second baseman. Washington Nationals stay with Kurt Suzuki behind the plate. Liam Hendricks, best reliever on the market, stays in the Bay Area. And I'm sorry, A's fans, it's not with your team. It's the San Francisco Giants time. Logan Forsyth, Boston Red Sox. Marcel Ozuna, one of the best bats available. He was rumored to them last year, but he finally makes the move to the south side of Chicago with the White Sox to join the likes of Jimenez, Robert, Abreu, Anderson, Moncada, Marcus Simeon, best shortstop available on the market. Cincinnati Reds finally get their guy there. Mark Melanson goes back to Atlanta. Martin Perez, Washington Nationals, going to kind of take over for Anibal Sanchez. Marwin Gonzalez, back with AJ Hinch in Detroit. Masahiro Tanaka's not going anywhere. He's sticking with the Yankees. I just can't ever see him in another jersey. Matt Harvey, remember this guy? Texas Rangers. They need any pitching help they can get. Matt Joyce, Pittsburgh Pirates. Miami Marlins, Matt Kemp. Don Mattingly connection. Matt Shoemaker, Chicago Cubs. Matt Weeders to the Texas Rangers. Michael Brantley and one of my more surprising picks. I don't know why, but I think he goes back to the Brewers who had him at the start. They need some outfield help. Michael Brantley could be that guy. Not as nimble anymore, but still plays it okay enough. And that bat's great. Help out Christian Yelich with some protection, please. Michael Waka, Kansas City Royals. Mike Fires, not going anywhere but Oakland. Mike Leak, Arizona through and through. Arizona Dimebacks. Mike Miner, Baltimore Orioles. Mike Zunino's not leaving the Tampa Bay Rays. Mitch Moreland, Mitchie Tubacks going to Arizona. Maybe a little platoon there with Christian Walker. Nelson Cruz only gets better with age. The fine wine of hitters. He's not going anywhere else but Minnesota. Nick Markakis, Atlanta Braves. I don't really like this pick, though. Nick Vincent, Philadelphia Phillies. Oliver Perez going back to the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pablo Sandoval, Houston Astros. I don't know why, but it just like, when I was doing my predictions, this one came to me. I could be so wrong. I probably will be, but I think he's going to the Astros. Pedro Baez is staying with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Rene Rivera, Miami Marlins. Rich Hill, Chicago Cubs, Theo Epstein, David Ross. It all makes sense back to the Boston connection. Rick Porcello, Minnesota Twins. Robbie Grossman. Now, Robbie Grossman, Colorado Rockies. Robinson Trino, St. Louis Cardinals. He can't escape Jeff Mathis. Ruzne Castillo, remember this guy? I think he's worth a flyer. I think the Mets might do it, but my prediction says the Cubs. Ryan Braun, Texas Rangers. Ryan Zimmerman, he's going to retire as a national, so they have to sign him to a one-year deal. Sandy Leone to the Seattle Mariners. Sean Doolittle going back to Oakland to pitch for the A's. Sean Rodriguez, Minnesota Twins. Sergio Romo, Minnesota Twins. Shane Green staying in Atlanta, but someone could sneak him away if they give him more money and make him the actual closer. Shin Su Chu, Seattle Mariners. Taiwan Walker, Cleveland Indians. They're like the pitcher whisperers, and I think Walker could be a really good guy for them to pick up. TJ McFarland, Chicago White Sox. The Todd Fox. 
father, Todd Frazier. He's from South Jersey. He's going to the Phillies. Tommy Hunter, Toronto Blue Jays. Tommy Listella has LA in his name. He's built for the LA Dodgers. They could use that left-handed bat at second base, third base, wherever they need him. Tony Watson, San Francisco Giants. He's not leaving. And then Trevor Bauer, of course, the other piece of the big three free agents. A lot of teams are going to want him. He's going to get paid a ton of money and he's going to the Los Angeles Angels. They finally get their ace and hopefully have enough this year to get Mike Trout to the playoffs. We need to see him there. Trevor Bauer's going to LA with the Angels. Trevor Cahill, San Francisco Giants. Trevor May, the Twitch streamer, uh, Minnesota Twins. Trevor Rosenthal, San Diego Padres. He loved it out there. You should bring him back. He was gross. Tyler Chatwood going back to where it was all good and dandy, the Colorado Rockies. Tyler Clippard, Washington Nationals. Tyler Flowers, great framer. The Rays will love that. Tyler Thornburg, Milwaukee Brewers. Wade LeBlanc, Seattle Mariners. Wilson Ramos to the Twins. I'm not really sure who will sign him though. It's going to be tough. Yeah, Cardinals fans, you might want to turn away. Yadier Molina is going to go to the New York Yankees in my eyes. He wants a multi-year deal. The Cardinals don't want to do it. And if you're the Yankees, you can get Yadi to teach Gary Sanchez how to catch. It's worth a shot. Why not? Yadi to the Yankees. Oof. Just like his brother, Jose. Yasmani Tomas. White Sox. Cuban connection. Jonas Cespedes. Remember him? Another Cuban. I think the Orioles give him a look. Maybe a little DH. Yoshihisa Hirano. Los Angeles Angels. And the last and final free agent of today's video, Yusmero Petit to the New York Yankees. Oh, finally. We're over. It's done. It's like a big weight off my shoulders. Like, this is, of course, the big, big video I make in the offseason every single year. But I went through all the free agents, where they're going to be signing, giving you my prediction. I don't expect to get many right. I never do. But if I can get the big three right, ooh, it's going to be a great offseason specifically for my New York Mets. But I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Remember to drop your predictions as well. Drop a like on the video. It really does help me out. Put a lot of time and effort into this. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see here and you want to see more of it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. All those links are in the description. It is time to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload. Click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye.